hello guys welcome to the channel so a lot of people feel like Ari was throwing shade at her best friend arrogant Tay and dream doll and jada waiter because they went to jada waiter's hosting and not Ari's hosting but before we get into that make sure you guys like share subscribe and hit the notification bell now let's go ahead and jump into this video now Ari tweeted one thing i ain't never been was a fake a female now, people in the comments section felt like she was talking about her best friend, Arrogant Tay, and Dream Doll because they went to Jada Waiters hosting and not her. So, here's what people had to say in the comment section. One person in the comment section said, Shade, don't throw it if you're not going to drop the egg. You do this every time T hang, well, Tay hang out with somebody else or a different crew. Somebody responded to that person and said, Bye. Tay stays throwing subs anytime she's out of town with Bag. He been doing it since she was in Miami. They energy just off right now. Somebody else also said, oop, what happened? They didn't invite you to the club with them. And somebody responded they was at two different hostings. So yes, basically Jada Waiter and Ari had two different hostings. But you can see where her best friend and dream doll went. Now, Personally, I don't think there should be a problem since all three of them were close. Jada Waiter, Dream Doll, and the real Kyle sister, they were all close. So it really shouldn't be no shade or no drama, but that's what people was thinking in the comment section. Somebody else even said Jada hosting was more lit. So like I already said, I don't think that the real Kyle sister was throwing shade at them, but she probably was because her best friend was somewhere else besides with her. But your best friend has the right to have other friends. Anyways, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Now we're about to talk about Jania scamming on OnlyFans. Yes, I said it, scamming on OnlyFans. Jania tweeted and said, y'all want my OnlyFans link. And then after that, she actually posted her OnlyFans link. So I'm pretty sure everybody already know how OnlyFans work. A person posts something on there, you pay to see it. Now Ruby Rose then done it like she was folding some clothes and she made like $100,000 in the first day. Of her only fans so janine posted this on her only fans and it was basically her in a bikini and she said you would love to wake up to this now a lot of people felt some way because they're saying that they see her like this on instagram all the time they see more than what she's showing on only fans on instagram somebody added janine and said i got five thousand dollars it's just you in a bathing suit somebody responded with the picture that was on her only fans and said that's crazy because it actually is she owe you some money then that's when Janine responded and said, that's it, I'm done. Somebody even told Janine, I paid the 50 for Janine OnlyFans. If y'all want to see it, sell me $5 and I'll send you the videos and pics she got so far. Janine responded and said, you're getting blocked. To be honest, I don't feel like Janine was scamming. I just feel like she was doing what every other girl that's out here doing besides the one that's actually doing explicit things on their OnlyFans. I would say that Janine is not that type of female. She wouldn't post explicit content like that. But we already see enough on her Instagram. We see, you know what we see on Instagram when you follow Janine. I'm not going to say it on here, but we see her lady bits and we see everything else when she's wearing all these see-through clothes. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you guys, especially the people that shop with me. Like, that means so much. Not because... You guys support me, but this is the way that I take care of my son. So, yeah, anything that I can do for him, I'm going to do it. Like, if I didn't have Casey, a lot of stuff that I do, like businesses and YouTube and deals, I wouldn't be trying to do it because I wouldn't have anything to work for like i wouldn't have a person looking up to me depending on me for everything and of course casey have his dad so like if anything was to happen casey could always go to control and that's just facts casey can go to his dad he still has his dad but the fact that his mom and his dad is doing something that speaks value like yeah um uh-huh Another thing is, I don't know, like, a lot of people feel as if I am this person that I'm not. Like, a lot of people feel that, I don't know, like, y'all know how y'all feel about me. 
Like, however y'all feel about me, y'all are going to feel that way regardless of what I do, what I say, how I move, how I dress, who I date. Like, you guys are going to just feel that way about me. Like, I still got people coming to me in my DM saying, I bet you can't pull me. Like, I was 17 years old defending someone. Like, I don't think people understand I'm 20 now. And not only am I 20, I have someone looking up to me. Like, of course he's going to see that stuff. Of course he's going to go back and look and, you know, have questions about certain things. But the only thing that matters is how I am now and how I will always be for the rest of my life. No, I don't plan on going back to that person that I used to be. A lot of people saying, oh, you're going back to phase one or you're you're doing this, you're doing that. No, you know why I never go to phase one or however you guys try to describe it? Because I have someone looking at me now. I didn't have anything to lose back in the day. I didn't have no kids. I didn't have no... Like, honestly, like, I really didn't have anything. So, no, I wasn't worried about the consequences. No, I wasn't worried about what could happen. No, I wasn't worried about who cared. Like, I honestly didn't care about what y'all had to say about me. Like, and I'm going to just say that. Like, I didn't give a fuck. What y'all thought about me was the last thing on my mind. I didn't even have an Instagram. I didn't have an Instagram. I had a Twitter, but I wasn't on, I wasn't on social media. So, it really didn't matter to me. But... The fact that I'm on it now, and I look, y'all, of course, I see old videos of me, old lives of me, getting on here yelling, getting on here acting a fool, getting on here being stupid. Like, a lot of people say I was slow. No, I was young. I was, I don't know. I was living, I'm not going to say I was living my best life because I really wasn't, but I really, what worries did I have? Like, did I think about, oh, Certain people are going to look at me and certain people are going to feel this way about me. Big organizations are going to look at me and say, hey, I don't want to work with this girl because of the things that she's doing right now. She doesn't bring a good look to our brand. She isn't it. But I mean, now, I don't know, I'm mature you kind of you kind of was slow me and that's i wasn't slow like y'all have to think about i didn't like i really did not care like so i would i wouldn't say i was slow i was just reckless real reckless real reckless but a lot of people like tend to forget that everyone was young once you know what i mean like a lot of people forget that everyone was 17 but the only difference was i was in the spotlight at 17 years old I was, I had my, like, I had a house at 17, cars, like, I was living a grown woman life at a young age, and not to mention, I had, we had so many people watching us, because it wasn't my stuff, I just, I, I, I.